the answer to somebody's pain, to somebody's pain point, to somebody, guess what? They're next. Because somebody right now, listening live or listening to the archive, have something that's been keeping them up at night at 3 a.m. in the morning. They wonder what's really going on. And when they close their eyes, they see themselves doing this, this, and this. And guess what? You just solve that problem. But you got to get away. You know what I'm about to say. You got to get out of that field. All the evidence up here real, right? You got to get away from that. You know I can go on in, but I'm going to just behave. <laughs> Let's get to the question very quickly of uh, the question from Dr. Renee for this session. Um, I address my team of folks, yeah. <laughs> they love to hand me or uh, send me the, the question right when I'm online. You know, I like that for me. They know that I actually I'm going to do the three things. You know, I'm going to be like, you know, I'm going to be authentic, I'm going to show compassion and love, and I'm going to be consistent. Okay, but uh, actually, this film from when I actually was in a uh, music pad this in 2017, you know, I warned the media, but not the media, but the audience children the work because I was able to answer the questions on a on dime. And I said, that's a gift because, you know, it's all about, you know, God, not me. But the question, the question for today is Dr. Renee, uh, we see you doing a lot of things with your brand, we see you doing a lot of things. From corporate, from you know the corporate level, we see you doing a lot of things, of course, in, in ministry and church. But one thing we kind of notice that you, you don't is that this I'm reading it for Bayden. Some of these questions I read for Bayden, okay? <laughs> Some of my paraphrasing. They said one thing you can sit for you is you have peace. One thing, another thing, the question is saying that you don't vote on the thing. And I'm reading it for Bayden because this is an actual man of God. It's, a written question. Uh, and he says that, you know, you're a best-selling author for all the books that you've done and all the projects that you've done, all the things you do, but you are very humble. You, you, you don't boast in a thing. But, and, but so, anyway, <laughs> and they want to know how, um, you know, how do you get to that? There, now, that's our question there. But first of all, to answer that question, I, first of all, of course, it's my faith. It's what, um, I believe in God, and God has graced me to do so many things. And and, and I can tell you, uh, uh, just real briefly, I grew up in poverty. You know, you know that, you know, ladies and gentlemen. But the thing about it is, my parents are still to me very quickly, very quickly, that I'm beautiful and I'm wonderful ways. I can do whatever I put in my mind to. You know, they started at all. You know, because I went through the bullying and I went through the, you know, here we go, the rejection, the overachievement. I went through the unforgiveness, you know, throughout my life. Like everybody else, all of that something that we have been through, okay? But my faith was always there, my faith. I knew that I had something inside. Didn't know what it was, okay? Continue as I try to identify your purpose, but I, people would say when I came around that they felt that way. Mm. So it wasn't comedy. You know, because I didn't think I was, you know, I wasn't like the team Harvey and the Cedric and the Painter, right? But I always was able to help someone feel better. And then, of course, as life takes it, you know, I'm a board certified anesthesiologist. Uh, just my faith, my faith, my faith. But of course, uh, uh, God has given me uh, the mantle of being an apostle. The, the thing about it is, guess what? I do study to show myself a point of hope. Okay, so my team, they get tired of me sometimes. I, don't, I know y'all love me, <laughs> but I'm very diligent. I'm very careful in the things that I put out on social media because I want to represent, of course, my faith. I want to represent God. I want to make sure I do things as diligent and in order. And then sometimes we have an A, B, and C, and E is the one that works. You see what I'm saying? But the thing, the reason that I have peace, I have people around me that make me look good. Uh, you know, and, and I pray that on you, on your business, on the things that you're doing, that you will actually attract people that will support you. But guess what? I support them as well in the things that they do. So you see what I'm saying? You see how this thing goes? So the key is you need to realize quickly it's not about you. You need to realize that you're a servant. Huh? You need to realize that all that you're doing is not for us. It's actually to help somebody else be closer to their business in their life. Okay, so you know, of course, I will call this young man and we'll have more detailed conversation. But that was just short and sweet. I have peace because I have it's been a journey that I realized 
quick things. It, it was things that I was doing, especially being an anesthesiologist. out there. It's not about me. I have to make sure that I'm the police officer, okay, of my, when the patient comes to the operating room. And so skill sets that I acquired in the medical field mm-hmm, came right over to my business with these things that I do. Okay? You see what I'm saying? And then that's why I teach people in regards to my coaching and all the little things I do. You have it already inside. You just got to get it in the right package. You have to get the right language. You have to get things in the right, quote, unquote, place that you can be. Amen? I'm going to say amen to that. <laughs> but we have a powerhouse with us this evening, afternoon, morning, depending on where you are. The amazing color of Jenkins. What we're going to do real quickly, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we're going to bring her in. And you know what? You know when I say it like that? You can have your pen and paper ready because she's going to draw something. Bullet something. Amazing things. Guess what? That can change your life right now. You know, this is a good news, and I'm Dr. Renee Sunday. We'll be right back. This is John Schamberger, founder and CEO of Millionaires and Trainers Only. Only. We are proud to support and listen to Good Deeds Live every Monday and Thursday at 5 30 Eastern Standard Time. With your host, the platform builder, Dr. Nate Sunday. So remember, wherever your mind can conceive and believe in your purpose, it can achieve. And don't stop. Get it, get it. <laughs> I know you want to say don't stop, get it, get it. So don't say it, so we can say it again before we go out. You know, I say it a lot of times because it's a motivating thing to actually to realize that you can't stop, you can't quit, you got to. Get it, get it. We thanks so much for our platinum sponsor, Mr. John Schamberger. Check him out. He uh, they have uh, DNS trainers only, only has an amazing platform in regards to the things that they do. They also have a radio show that you can be a part of that as well. But the thing about it is, guess what? Mm, you got to get your message out so somebody else can be relieved to the pain that they're going through. Okay. So we actually, we will talk about that later if you want to actually be an advertiser, if you want to be a sponsor, or if you want your own radio show. But we want to get right on into this. Ms. Paula R. Jesus, she's a CEO. See, so she's going to already tell you about herself. She's a CEO, right? <laughs> she's a best-selling author, you know, of two times. I just want But the thing about it, and you know my team always set me up. You know, and they, they go by the auction of the Holy Spirit, so I'm so glad. Um, she talks about specialized and personal branding. And that just when you talk about it, they always do this. But also project management and positive change management. She has so many degrees that the thing is, but when I know, I've never met this young lady, but I know through her post that this is a personal thing. I know through her post. I know through, through the things that she says, because I, I know we got this uh, interview together. You know, she was, my team said, well, just read. She's on point. The point that I'm saying is when someone sends you an email, sends you anything, you should know that they have a great heart. And I know she has that never met her, but you should be able to know by the spirit and things that you do. So we want to welcome, welcome, love over the power of Jesus to good deeds. Are you there? I am. Thank you for having me, Dr. Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen, this amazing, amazing young lady. Now, do this part because, of course, I did not give you just the what's going on. <laughs> I only do a tip of the iceberg because I enjoy when people actually talk about what they do and how they serve the world. So tell us a little bit more about yourself and the amazing things that's going on in your life. Sure. Uh, thanks for having me, first and foremost, and congratulations on being in the top, top, what, 100 podcast? That's extraordinary. Uh, but my name is Carla Jenkins. I'm CEO of Phenomenal Corporation. It's a project management consultancy group. Uh, I do have degrees. I have a bachelor's in international economics, master's of business administration. I also have project management professional certification degrees, certified scrum master. My goal is regardless of if you're in the project management or not, to make sure that everything that you do is on time, under budget, organized, and efficient. So, uh, you know, that's a little bit about me. Also, my site is CarlaRJenkins.com, and I'm extremely proud that the website 
um, has cracked the Alexa Internet 1 million, which is good because Alexa Internet is the ranking of websites. So I've been doing the branding, the social media, all of my social media is Carla R. Jenkins. And as I mentioned, I also do project management. Wow, well, we want to celebrate you as well. Thank you. Woo! I'm just so excited about that because that's an amazing conversation. It's amazing, amazing. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's just talk a little because you know these business owners y'all want here. She actually is doing analytics, okay? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Analytics, she's actually doing things that she knows things are working in your branding. We do a lot of stuff, and I'll be honest, I did it too. <laughs> <laughs> that we can't even measure, so we need to be able to measure. So we want to salute you. Oh, I'm just so excited for you. That's amazing. Well, thank you. But I mean, in the beginning, it wasn't like it is now. So just being able to measure and see what's working and what's not working, that's why metrics are very important because when you see what's working, then you can focus your attention on that. And it also saves a lot of time, but also a lot of money. Oh yeah, now you're saying it now. But let's step back a little bit, Paula, because a lot of people, I think almost, uh, and I'm going to take a stab at this, pretty much most of the events that I've been a part of, and, and I'm a, a lot, a lot of events that's out there. Usually, somewhere in the conversation comes up about branding. Now, what I love that you specialize in is personal branding. Kind of talk to us about that, because everybody has their own definition. <laughs> but what is the actual working definition we should have in regards to personal branding? Sure. Well, personal branding is what people say about you when you're not in the room. And I feel a lot of reasons why people don't think they have a personal brand or they're put off about it because they equate it to corporate America, such as Coke, Pepsi, Ford, even Amazon, Uber, things like that. But your your reputation on your job is a form of your personal branding. And I and I focused on personal branding because originally you know, as I mentioned before, people would, would gravitate towards me because of my project management certifications. But when they were reading the blog on my site, they would look at how we use social media and personal branding towards getting the opportunities that I have. So I can also relate this to business owners when they think that branding is only for corporate America. Branding is a way of how you get your clients and how you separate yourself. It's it, that personal branding of your company can be how you're out there distinguishing yourself from everybody else in the marketplace. So that's why small businesses as well as individuals should consider branding. Hmm. Yeah, you're right about that. Oh, wow, that's just so amazing. But you know, a lot of people get it confused and say that, you know, they, you know, they're product, for example, is a branding. But people really need to make that connection with you as a person. Tell us about that because I think we get confused about the services or the products we provide versus people just making that connection with really who Paula is, okay? <laughs> oh, yes. People get that confused all the time. But one of the reasons why people will buy your products is their connection to you. So you have to look at personal branding of you as an individual, as an extension of the customer service experience. So you're giving people an experience and, and deepening their connection and understanding what the product can do for you, but also um, you being the face behind the, the brand. So yes, you can have the the business, the products, the service offerings, but also yourself as a brand. And, and that can be part of the buying power in a way, goodwill, like goodwill is on the balance sheet and it doesn't get monetized until you sell it. But look at your personal brand. It's like you being a goodwill ambassador and something that's positive that people consider when buying from you. I, I like how you said that. That's powerful. But so with that being said, uh, because a lot of, um, and I, I use myself as an example, uh, you know, I was all, a lot of people are, I think they call that word not parallel entrepreneur or serial entrepreneur, you know, entrepreneur, 
that you've been in, let's say, for example, even a nine to five. You've been in a nine to five, and now you're trying to branch out. Let's say, for example, even in legal personality or even a coach, because coaching is very, uh, in consultation. How, how should we, because I get a lot of those questions myself, and, you know, of course, we're going to actually contact Carlos, you know, for uh, a dive deep in a later in our own person, but I get that a lot myself with people in that transition, if you will, from the nine to five to actually that entrepreneur, uh, uh, you know, opportunity that they should be. This is the time that I actually need to do this. Sure. Well, what I would recommend is that you uh, go out and look in outside of just what's immediate to you. I would recommend going to, you know, industry or professional association. Every single occupation has a professional association. So you take project management, you have the Project Management Institute, you have other project management professional certification organizations and and, and do that because they are up on the current trends of the industry and that you would also be able to meet entrepreneurs in that space and it affords you an opportunity to expand your, your professional network and to see whether or not you want to go into entrepreneurship in your current field or if you want to try something else. Also, if you're working, it in a way gives you a cover because you're in, you, you know, it wouldn't look weird that you're going to the professional organization that's in your industry and you can meet new people. You can also know stuff. Another thing that I would recommend are meetups because most meetups are free. And the benefit of a meetup is that they have practitioners. So they have people who are actually doing the work. So I'm a member of a few of them. And what I like about it is because they're practitioners, they also are doing the the cutting edge, the latest software, the latest demonstration within the industry. So you're current and you're right. I also have coaching. So right now, um, if you go to carlarjenkins.com forward slash book a session, I have four different strategy sessions currently right now at $97, which are project, um, productivity, branding, project management, and time management sessions for further coaching. But that's what I would do if you want to transition from there. And then you get a more realistic picture from someone who's already doing it. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you on that because, um, you, you know, a, a lot of times we want to glean from people that that's not even in the industry. And we need to be careful with that. We need to actually, you know, of course, uh, spiritually, we always say align ourselves with, you know, like minded people, mm -hmm. but we actually need to do that, you know, uh, uh, we need to do that in everything that we do and say. But let's get to this. Uh, because I want a little time to run out here. Uh, in regards to project management, talk a little bit more. Because I've, I've met a, a, a few person, I've met people that's actually certified in project management. But tell us a little bit more with that in detail. Are we talking about uh, something that you know business owners can do, or special, or more projects that's on the corporate level, or even both? You can do both. Anybody can do um, project management. Uh, I actually, before receiving my project management professional, I received my certified associate in project management and I received it while I was working as an economist. So one of the great um, misnomers or myths is that you have to have the title of project management to actually um, sit for the project management exam. And that's not true because I was an economist where I received my certified associate in project management. And then I was a program analyst when I received my project management professional certification that I've had for over five years. So anyone can do it. You know, businesses can do it. Individuals can do it. Corporations can do it. Matter of fact, some corporations, if you should inquire about training and development, they may pay for you actually to sit for the exam because a project management professional is the gold standard of project management. It's instantly recognized throughout the world. And it does mean that you pass the litmus test in doing project management the right way. I, I like that one. Let's get out a little, little deeper in that. Okay. Are we saying, okay, you said business owners, so Let's say, for example, here, I guess all of us know Bishop Jason, all of 
pretty much know uh, the mental health. Sure. I was talking about, let's say, if they doing a tour or if they doing a lot of a different aspect of their business, kind of dive a little deeper in that. Because, again, I'm, I'm saying this because I've experienced people talk about project management and they made it seem like it was above entrepreneurs' levels. No, that's wrong. Everything can be, everything and anything can be a project. And if you're an entrepreneur, you're actually doing project management. So you have to look at it when you're doing, you know, your, your schedule for the week. That's time management. That's schedule management. When you're doing the budget, that's cost management. When you're doing, you know, you want to do uh, looking at the quality of your products or your services. Well, uh, that's quality management. And if you're improving the product, then that's process improvement. So I just broke down the different aspects of project management. But no, project management is not above the, you know, above uh, any entrepreneur. Actually, what you're doing is project management. Whether or not you work in corporate America or you work for yourself, you can be doing project management. Yeah, that's what you if you just real good with that, but that's your purpose. Amen. I'm glad. <laughs> but, but tell us, because we've seen you in social media, like you said, doing a lot of things and, and transforming uh, people's lives and really being a change agent. Um, of, of so many people with your best selling books and stuff like that. Let's talk about that just as well, because one thing we can see is you, you do the personal branding, the social media, and then the project management, but you just really being that person that's actually bringing positive change to so many people. So tell us a little bit more about that. Sure. Actually, I got the idea of positive change from you know, being on a uh, change website and they talked about changing the negative. I wrote about what about changing the positive. And I had to look at the fact that I experienced a lot of positive change in my life and no one talks about that. So I, I started a website called positivitychange.com, which dealt with positive change and how to handle it. So say you receive a promotion or you receive uh, more money or something, you have to know how to handle that if you want to continue the pro um, positive change. And also, I just felt it was just as easy to be positive as it is negative. So that's always how you know I've been as a person and always been my spirit. And then regarding social media, I just like to communicate. And I like video. I like audio. So I like communicating, sharing, and exchanging ideas with people. And when you go on my site, carlrjenkins.com, you see all that. Um, you see the positivity, but you also see the learning and the communication and this changing of ideas. So that's where I got it from. That's amazing, amazing. I just love it. Carl, let's do this because you know how time goes by so quickly on these broadcasts. Tell us any, you know, things that you have coming up. And I and we touched on the group, but I want to circle back on the, the, the different coaching aspects and the different, you know, things that you are helping people with that we can come to you on the entrepreneur level and we can come to you as well and, and, and you know, work the 500 corporate. Tell us a little bit more about your products and services and, and you can interject, of course, anything that we may have missed. Again, again, tell us how we can support you on social media and also your website as well. Sure. Well, uh, I do have right now, I'm two-time Amazon bestseller. I have the book, Expand Your Personal Brand, the workbook and the bundle. They're all on my site. Um, you can click on the shop tab. I also have other products such as um, project management, uh, also time management bundles. Those are all in between $47 and $97. That's on Carla R. Jenkins.sales.com. That's on my website. Uh, furthermore, as I mentioned, I have right now strategy sessions all $97 a piece for productivity, project management, time management, and branding. And I'm doing those for at that rate at a limited time, which is a steal because if anyone knows, project management is not going for $97. It's going for way more than that. But I wanted to make it accessible to people. Also, we have a free 15-minute um, consultation that you can also book on the, the page at carlrjenkins.com forward slash book a session. And what I essentially do, whether or not it's business or individuals, I just take you through 
the plan on how you need to implement it. So what's good project management isn't the way I see it, it's the way that it would benefit you. And then finally, I also for, do corporate training. I've done online corporate training before. So in addition to project management, I also do um, IT service management. So I do idle trainings, which is IT project management and computer related. And finally, as I mentioned on social media, all of my social media is CarlaRJenkins.com from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, everything is Carla R. Jenkins. You know, I have to say this, ladies and gentlemen, I think, you know, we talk about uh, Facebook and Instagram a lot, but I think we actually first became acquainted actually through LinkedIn, if I'm not mistaken. I believe so. That in fa that that in Twitter. Yes. Don't sleep on LinkedIn. <laughs> no, LinkedIn is very big, especially for entrepreneurs. Don't feel just because, like, once again, Link, LinkedIn is like very corporate, but it's very beneficial for entrepreneurs. And, and as an entrepreneur, you can look at people you can hire from LinkedIn because most of the people you're probably looking for probably have a LinkedIn profile. I believe there's over 500 million people on LinkedIn. So your, your future workforce is on LinkedIn. So don't be intimidated once again, because LinkedIn has all of the Fortune 500 company profiles as entrepreneurs. You should also join LinkedIn and you should check it out also. Oh, yeah. I, I, I was sleeping for a minute on LinkedIn and, and Google Plus as well. But I, we, we got back in the game pretty quick. <laughs> pretty quick, pretty quick on that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we know we want to give you things that you can actually implement and take advantage of right away. I mean, I've got speaking engagements, I've actually got guests from, for the for the radio, the TV, I've gotten um, speaking engagements for myself and ask the other people to be on the platform. I've even gotten sponsors, sponsors that uh, that do in kind, sponsors that actually are anonymous, and sponsors that you know that you see that we display you know throughout events. Yes, what I mean, being. and actually, if you look at my profile, I still need to uh, check out Paula and get a little <laughs> get, get my game up a little bit more. How many you said people on LinkedIn? Five hundred million people. She look at it, and she because of, and I'm not bashing uh, Facebook. I love Facebook, but if you notice that a lot of uh, no matter what you're depending on, we put we put a quotation depending on what your demographic, a lot of engagement, if you will, from Facebook is not allowing us to really do that. Like we need to be able to do. You can still you know, inbox people and stuff like that. But, you know, Instagram is kind of taking that over. But just think about it. As of now that I know of, you can still send someone a direct message on um, LinkedIn, you know, and still look it on Twitter. So we need to take advantage of that. And, ooh, and Carla, if she's someone to follow, I mean, seriously, I, I need to actually get a, a strategy session myself. <laughs> and get that Alexa saying, she talks about, I need to. <laughs> And you know, y'all, I don't hide my game, amen, so it is what it is. But, but I really want to thank you so much that I actually finally, you know, have the, the wonderful voice with the actual, all the information the cross I've read that I really, really inspire me and motivate me. And, and, and you really have kept it, and I have to let you know, you've kept me straight in regards to my personal brand. Oh, um, thank you. When I first started, I'm telling you, I, you know, I'm going to just be transparent. Some of the coaches that I came across um, told me to do a lot of things that ended up, I had to, I had to, what they, what they say in the old days, paddle back if you will, because all over social media, I was known as the certified board and certified in a few dollars. So all the things that I do now, who do me now, you know, most likely it's all the things that I'm doing now, but of course, the anesthesiologist is there. But it's a way of doing that. That's the reason I'm taking the time to say that. And this young lady here is the one that I wish I knew you then. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I learned and I'm able to share, you know, that information so people don't do that. And I refer them right over the call. Well, thank you. how to do that if you very well. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And, and, and actually, my team 
Sure, it's carlrjenkins.com spelled C A R L A R J E N K I N S, carlrjenkins.com. Oh, great. Oh, great. Well, again, we do thank you for being in your purpose, and also we thank you for taking time out your busy schedule and being a guest here on Good Things. If you need us for anything, please, please don't hesitate to contact us. All right. Well, thank you for having me. I greatly appreciate it. Oh, thank you so much. Amen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I know, I know. Hold on. The replay will be ready to, because I know you didn't get all that, right? So please connect with my sister. I mean, she's a powerhouse. I read a blog all the time. So, you know, as they said, when you run into all this, I do enjoy her. <laughs> she's a powerful young lady. Read her story. She has it on her website. Very clean website. That's another thing I forgot to tell her. Hopefully she'll, she'll hear this on the replay if she, unless she's feeling cute. Very clean website, actually. Uh, yeah, you know, I have, we do so much uh, in regards to things that I'm doing. We clean it out, of so kind of watch out. We're going to clean it on up a little more, amen? But the thing is, you know, you have to say, I got to send it to somebody because I feel it, that um, you have to be involved. You have to evolve and do better and better and better. A lot of people, especially business owners, would not step out on faith. I'm going to say that. Step out and do something because they want it to be perfect. None of us would ever, ever, ever be perfect. You gotta step out. That's why I always say, "What you gotta believe, you gotta trust, you gotta go for that, right?" But it's here on Good Deeds. We love you. We love you. We love you. If you want to be a guest on our broadcast, you can do that. The radio TV. You know, we also have a, a magazine. We've been graced that the ooh every cover that we've had so far has sold out. Especially the last one with Richard Jake <laughs> on there. And actually, uh, we got a big order in uh, if somebody ordered today, and so we actually gonna. Uh, kind of do another relaunch on that because it was by summer. And guess what? I'm going to steer you, right? <laughs> so we're going to actually do that. Um, you can buy those this time, you know, on our website. If that's different for you, that's different. But if you want your own radio show, you want your own TV show, um, actually, people have asked me how to launch their own magazine. So, I, you know, we're working on that as well because, of course, we have to do it with the spirit of influence. Amen. Okay, there you go. Uh, uh, we also have a publishing company. We can publish your books, we can publish your magazines, we can uh, publish uh, your, so we got a stage play and those type of poetry, I love. And we also have a nonprofit organization called the Sunday Foundation. If you want a foundation that you can volunteer or donate, uh, we actually have an educational piece of mentorship and also a fun program issue in. And what we do with that is we help uh, loved ones that have family members in their just care unit. So if you affiliate with a hospital or even a nursing home, please contact us because, you know, we got to do and help our brothers and sisters. We have to do it. We have to do it. Okay, fine? Okay, our website is www.reneesunday.com. Again, that is www.renee, Sunday, S-U-N-D-A-Y. And also the coaching that I do, you know, I do Greek counseling. I do business counseling, business coaching, media coaching. And of course, purpose culture. You know, if I'm not a fit, you know, I'm going to find someone that's going to get me out. Okay? <laughs> but always remember, you just have a phone. You have a reason you are born. You're not a mistake. You got to do the three things. You got to believe. You got to trust. You got to walk that thing out. I got to do it too. Amen? You got to don't stop. Here's the time to say it. You got to get it, get it. <laughs> you got to get your purpose and you got to get your purpose now. You know, this is good deep. Thank you for using the